All right, let's look at the web module in Lightroom. So here we are back in Lightroom. I'm going to jump over to library module. I'm going to find the web project. And once again, if I'm jumping into map, book, slideshow, print web, make a collection, jump all the images over as a collection, it'll be a, a good way for you to keep track of what you're doing. I can drag images in if I want, but it's a better way to go. I'm going to select web. We're going to jump into the web module. So what I can create here is a, a web component. Over on the left are a bunch of templates, charcoal, clean, poppy seed, dusk, earthy, X met metadata, HTML gallery default, ice blue, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, All right? So when I choose the uh, slides, uh, the um, web module, I can give the project, let's move this out of the way. There's a classic gallery, grid gallery, square gallery, track gallery. So those are in addition to the ones over on the left. Okay, so I have a bunch of different options for how I display this content. Okay, I'll set it back to pure black. So I can give it a title. I can give it a collection title. I can give it a description, enter a contact name, have an email link. Once again, I can create an identity plate. I can modify the colors for the text, detail, background, the cells. I can choose to show the cell numbers or not. Choose to have border, uh, photo borders. Choose the size of the images on the page. Choose to have watermarking. Now when I come down here, there's two options for export. If I know the path to my server, then with the website.com forward slash folder X, whatever the case may be, um, I can upload it directly to a folder. I can go into custom settings and I have to set that up. Set up the server, set up username and password, server path. If I know this information, I can upload my images directly to a web, a web folder, a, a, a website. So that's the upload button. I can also export. So I'm going to use export and I'm going to put it on, on libraries, documents, Adobe Lightroom Classic. I'll call it test and uh, uh, 01 and save. And so I successfully exported that. Let's take a look at it. So I'm going to go to my project folder. And here it is. So if I double click and open that, it made an index file all the contents in the folder here. It builds all the links. I double click on that, it's gonna open up my gallery, and then I can look at my images. Now, if I wanted to send that to someone, what I'd have to do is take this folder and zip it. If I zip it and send it to someone, they could uncompress it and run it from the hard drive. Let's stop there.